it's good for us, and that's good. It's good for the industry. It, it signals that the FA cares about GA and cares about light sport in particular, and they care about the health of it and the safety of it, and they had to make some really tough decisions about what they're going to signal philosophically. But sometimes I think when you want to do great things, you got to you got to take intelligent risk. I mean, it's part of being a pilot. The FAA just notified us that we got the exemption uh, for spin resistance. They made the right decision when it comes to weighing weight versus safety. And the FAA has historically and philosophically used weight and propulsion to define airplanes. And the administrator has recently, back in 2012, gave a speech where he says the FAA is considering reconsidering that. Spin resistance is not like a component. You can't, it's not like a, say, a parachute. You make a place for it, you bolt it on. And then if you don't want it, you take it out. When NASA did the research, they took existing planes and modified them to prove it could be done. This is the first airplane that we know of that's taken the standard and designed every flying surface with that goal in mind. So spin resistance permeates the entire airframe design and you can't just rip it out. It either has it or it doesn't and it's embedded in the airframe. So ultimately what we care about is getting the safest, most innovative products to market and we shouldn't be constrained by arbitrary weight limits. So the good news here is that the FAA, when given the hard decision about significant safety enhancement and arbitrary weight limits, they chose safety.